Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn will be from the CBW3, number 449, For All the Saints, number 449. We will sing verse 1. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who their great faith to all the world confessed, your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Good morning again, everyone, and to all who are joining us online. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of Fernando Cardoso and Tony Petrina and a special intention for John. Dear friends, we celebrate today the feast day of St. Bruno, who was a monk, a leader, and a pastor who lived in the 11th century. Again, his example of faith inspires us even to this day to keep moving forward, no matter what the challenges or circumstances are, in the same steps that our Lord trod before. As we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our own sins and shortcomings before God and before one another. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who called St. Bruno to serve you in solitude, grant through his intercession that amid the changes of this world, we may constantly look to you alone through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. The Lord our God is in the right, but there is open shame on us today, on the people of Judah, on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on our kings, our rulers, our priests, our prophets, and our ancestors, because we have sinned before the Lord. We have disobeyed him and have not heeded the voice of the Lord our God to walk in the statutes of the Lord that he set before us. From the time when the Lord brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until today, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God, and we have been negligent and not heeding His voice. So to this day they have clung to us the calamities and the curse that the Lord declared through His servant Moses at the time when He brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt to give us a land flowing with milk and honey. We did not listen to the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us. But all of us follow the intent of our own wicked hearts by serving other gods and doing what evil is in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Our response, for the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the the glory glory of your name, name, O Lord, Lord, deliver deliver us. us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. 
They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies of your servants to the birds of the air for food, the flesh of your faithful to the wild animals of the earth. For the the glory glory of your name, name, O Lord, Lord, deliver deliver us. us. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a taunt to our neighbors and mocked and derided by those around us. For the glory glory of your name, name, O Lord, Lord, deliver deliver us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealous wrath burn like fire? Do not remember against us the iniquities of our ancestors. Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. For the the glory glory of your name, name, O Lord, Lord, deliver deliver us. us. Help us, O God, of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. For the the glory glory of your name, name, O Lord, Lord, deliver us. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the 70 disciples, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But at the judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. Whoever listens to you listens to me and whoever rejects you, rejects me, and whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel this morning seems rather alarming in its content. But our Lord is giving us an important lesson and warning. All of us are familiar with the teachings of our Lord Jesus, but so many in our world do not realize that the Word of God demands repentance and conversion, something that is continual, that it calls for us a new life in Jesus. This explains the existence of the phenomenon called split-level Christianity. There are so many who love to be called Christians, but their lives are not in accord with the teachings of Christ. They refuse the call to conversion. Jesus says, Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. Our Lord is addressing this to his disciples, whom he is sending on mission. He is reminding them that the message they proclaim is not their own, but but our Lord's. Hence, those who listen to them listen to Jesus as well, and those who reject them are also rejecting Jesus and the Heavenly Father who sent him. This should remind all of those entrusted with the mission of proclaiming the gospel that they must be faithful to God's word and courageous in proclaiming it. And secondly, they should always realize that they have to proclaim, no matter not what people wish to hear, but what God wants his people to hear. And at the end of the day, dear friends, as we strive forth every day, 
Every day is a renewed opportunity to reconvert, to um, give our life back to Christ. Our Lord realizes that we're not perfect, none of us is, and we should be the last person to pass judgment on other people. For conversion is a daily experience. It's something that uh, we're constantly renewing ourselves every morning. At least I try to. Every morning I get up, Lord, tomorrow, you know, yesterday wasn't a great day for me. I did this or I failed to do that. Today is a new, a renewed opportunity for me to, to be better, to, to be more kind, to be more patient. And that's why the, an examination of conscience is something that, um, depending how tired I am, sometimes it's, it's not much of anything, but um, before we go to bed, it's always a great thing to, to reflect on the day, you know, to reflect on where I did things really, really well, why, you know, I handled that as well as I could. I could have been more charitable here. Um, you know, I could have reacted a little better here. An examination of conscience is always something, uh, it's helpful for us because it, it takes stock of the day, but it's also a renewed call that tomorrow is a new day. Like, we don't rest on, you know, we can't change what's happened or what's been done, but tomorrow is a renewed opportunity to be better, to do better. And I think if we reflect that, you know, we, you know, we, sometimes we, Hold, we hold on to things like, oh, you know, uh, you know we hold on to these, uh, you know, and, and it, it eats away at us when we hold on to things that we've done or failed to do. And our Lord is asking us to, you know, to let go, you know. We can't change, but we can change right here and moving forward. The words of the Apostle Paul to Timothy, dear friends, should also be able to help guide us. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity, will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and be diverted to myths. But you, be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardship, perform the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. With humility, friends, mindful of our faults and failings, we bring to the Lord our prayers, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in religious vocations, may the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected and appointed officials, May God work through their efforts in creating a more just society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the imprisoned, may the Lord call the guilty to repentance and impart his mercy in return, and may the innocent be granted hope and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us here, as we discern the daily decisions that make up our lives, May the Lord grant us prudence and a servant's heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, this morning we remember especially Fernando Cardoso and Tony Petrina. May they soon be exalted in heaven with the choirs of angels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for a special intention for John and for those prayers and petitions that we keep in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we come to you with confidence that you hear us and ask that you answer our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Bruno, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Bruno, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the, choir, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, give, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Fernando and Tony, who have fallen asleep in the hopes of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Bruno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of our Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
to all joining us online, the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Bruno, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother in prayer. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod, so now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. Dear friends, Father Rico returns later today from his conference in Moncton, so we pray that it was a good time, productive time, and that uh, the plane ride, uh, uh, there's been long plane rides when I've flown in Canada, so we pray that everything goes accordingly and arrives safely. And likewise, too, as we approach Thanksgiving weekend, if uh, anyone's traveling or going anywhere to visit family or friends, I pray and we pray that it's a safe journey, it's a, a wonderful time with everyone, and an opportunity to reflect on the many blessings and graces that we all have. And some days we don't feel like it, maybe, but all of us, I'm sure, are thankful for many things in our lives. And this weekend is an opportunity to reflect upon those. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing be upon us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is from the CBW3, number 449, For All the Saints. 449, we will sing verse two. You were their rock, their fortress and their might, their strength and solace in the well-fought fight. And in the darkness, their unfailing light. Hallelujah. 